Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we will learn about home automation. Home automation means that you can control your appliances, devices from any part of the world through internet and your smartphone. Isn't that cool? So let's get started. So guys, to make this project you will need Node MCU, a relay module, breadboard, USB wire, power bank which we made before, some jumper cables. So let's get started. First we'll attach Node MCU to breadboard. Then we'll remove this jumper from this relay model. Connect all the wires as shown. This is the final circuit diagram. Now download this Blink application and log in with your Gmail address. We'll write the name of our project automation. Now we'll select Node MCU module. Here it is. Now it will send you the auth code in your Gmail address. So select the buttons as per your relay connections. You can even use timer. Now select the button, assign a digital pin, enter the name of your button. Similarly you can create for each of them. First write the name of your button, assign a digital pin and select switch as we will be using them as a switch.
Now open up the code, you will get a link in the description below to download this code. Now first we will download this library and we will save in our libraries folder. Now you will get a mail from Blink application that is your auth code. Now copy and paste that auth code from your Gmail ID to Arduino code. Now enter your Wi-Fi name and your Wi-Fi password. That's it. Now select the port and board. Board is Node MCU and select your port. Now compile the code and upload it to your board. So for demonstration, I will be using a light bulb of 220 volts. Make sure you do it very correctly as it is extremely dangerous, it carries 220 volts. Now we'll power up everything. Now open up the application, here we are using mobile data. So switch on the power supply, connect the bulb and here we go. When we press relay 1, the bulb switch on. Similarly we can set timer for our bulb. First we will change the pin as we cannot assign same similar pins. So now I have connected pin 1 to timer. We will set the time that is 10.27 pm. We will set this time for 15 seconds. is on. It will count for 15 seconds. And it's off. Similarly, you can connect 4 relays at a time. As this code is capable of using 4 relays as shown in the circuit diagram below. So friends, hope you like this video then hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And also don't forget to share this video with your friends. See you in the next video. Do subscribe my channel Viral Science and click on bell button so you don't miss any videos.